Hey guys, we're spending this video to do a full review of Samsung Galaxy S5. So this is the octa-core variant that I got, and it's not the Snapdragon 801 variant. So first of all, from the looks, it looks like a Galaxy S4 if you if you look it if you look at it like this. But in terms of comparison with the Galaxy S4, it doesn't look that much of a cheap as compared to the Galaxy S4 because the Galaxy S4 has plastic. Uh, which is which looks very cheap that white plastic but now with the Galaxy S5 we have this matte finish so as we all know the Galaxy S5 is the most anticipated, sp anticipated smartphone of the year and also it was leaked over and over again and uh, lots of leaks so uh, there is a 2.5 gigahertz Snapdragon 801 variant of this device and other is a octa core variant so this is an octa core 1.9 gigahertz Cortex A15 and also we have 1.3 GHz Cortex A7 for a low power cores as well. And also in terms of the GPU, we have hexa core GPU inside this device, and meaning six cores, and uh, which uh, be called as uh, the GPU is called as Mali T628 MP6, meaning that it has a six core GPU, which is very great in terms of games. So for gamers, you will not have any kind of problem whether you buy a either one um, device or a octa core device. So. Yes, and uh, with an octa core processor, you will get a 4K video quality, which you don't get on the Note 3 octa. So, yes, start off, starting off the review from the display. So we have a 5.1 inch display here, and it's a, a 1080p HD display, uh, which looks very cool. If I zoom in here, as you can see, it looks very cool. It's a very sharp display. It's a super AMOLED display, and it looks uh, sharp even in sunlight as compared and it, it looks very great in, in sunlight as compared to the Nexus 5 so even you don't have to do a uh, do full brightness in order to see in sunlight even at, uh, even at half a uh, half brightness you will gonna see your device clearly and you will not have any kind of problem reading text and uh, all those stuff so in terms of design Samsung have uh, designed this phone uh, similar to the Note 3 you know, so uh, as we all know, the Galaxy S5 is actually waterproof. So on the bottom, uh, we have the charging and USB slot here, and this is protected by a jacket, which can be opened by by this. Okay, this is actually the waterproof of uh, Galaxy S5. So we will not be seeing a Galaxy S5 active this year because they have made the original Galaxy S5 waterproof. So we have uh, this charging port here. We have a microphone here. We have a speaker grill here, we have LED flash with uh, the um, heart sensor and also we have 16 megapixel camera on the top. The new ISOCELL camera, the most improved thing in the Galaxy S5 is the camera as compared to the S4 and also we have this home button with uh, the uh, home button with the multitask button and the back button key and this is actually the uh, the waterproof, uh, of our, uh, the uh, waterproof fingerprint sensor here and uh, which which works pretty well as compared to the iPhone 5s which has some problems in terms of you know uh, recognizing your fingers so and on the top we have 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with the microphone here and also uh, the Galaxy S5 the reason that the Galaxy S5 is awesome is that you can remove the back cover from here and under the hood we have a 2800 milliamp bar battery and with the speaker as you can see here and also we have the SD card slot here and down with the SD card you can enter your SIM so as you can see uh, the the back is protected by leather which means that it is certified by IP67 and it is um, fully waterproof just like uh, any other Sony Xperia water phone so it's definitely Samsung's first uh, waterproof phone other than the Galaxy uh, S4 Active, so uh, which was a very great phone indeed in terms of waterproofness. So, Samsung, so Russia, Russians do some Russian dudes have actually tested out the Galaxy S5 in water, and Galaxy S5 can sustain water up to one or two meter and up to two three minutes, and you know some time. So, I will be testing out water personally. I will make a video about that. So, yes, the next main thing here is the fingerprint sensor, so which works pretty well as you can see. So all you need to do is to swipe your finger slowly and we're going to say recognize and it will going to unlock your device. So unlocking your device you will see a touch with software here. 
as you can see it, it from the looks it looks the same as compared to the Anno 4.3 jelly bean um, so uh, from the looks it doesn't look that much similar as we know that touch is the same but they have introduced magazine stuff as you can see we have magazine here and swiping down we have the notification bar s finder and quick connect and so as you can see here we have a lot of options so what's new here so we have ultra power saving mode in the Galaxy S5 which is a new thing uh, with the Galaxy S5 and also we do get all those same goodies smart stay smart pause and other kind of stuff that we get on the uh, the previous S4 is now available on the S5 but ultra power, uh, ultra save power saving mode is good if you want to if you want to conserve your battery it actually downclock your processor as well as GPU to conserve battery which works pretty well let's check out the settings here as you can see here on the settings we don't have the list the black list that we get on the uh, on the other Android devices we have now a cool little interface here a cool settings quick settings network connections connect and share sound and display which works pretty great and also let's see about device you can see Android 4.4.2 KitKat. The Galaxy S5 is running the latest version of the Android Android 4.4.2 KitKat, and also uh, we might see a Google Play edition of the Galaxy S5 soon. I'm not so sure about that, but at the moment you you can root your Galaxy S5, um, and it, but there is no customer available at the moment. So, and you know when they will be available, I will be installing custom ROM on this device. We will see how the Galaxy Web performs in custom ROM, but Currently, the Galaxy S5 is on top of the mountain. Even though it's an octa-core variant, it's not that much of a has it that much of a clock speed up up to 2.5 gigahertz that that we get on the Air Zero One variant. But it is definitely the beast here. So on on Tutu benchmark, Galaxy S5 is currently the top of the mountain. As you can see, 36,157. If we compare it, if you see here, as you can see, uh, RAM excellent, 2D graphic excellent, everything excellent. If we compare it with other devices ranking the top device is the Galaxy Note 3 and if you compare it with the Galaxy Note 3 as you can see my Galaxy S5 scores 36,157 while the Galaxy Note 3 scores 34,652 so this shows that the Galaxy S5 octa core is actually very powerful and the GPU is performing at its peak so the next thing that we get here is an improved camera this, this is a new 16 megapixel camera that has a lot of features actually you, 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 will, you have a selective focus where you can selectively focus on things you want to capture you can blur out just like a DSLR and also you have different kind of settings here uh, with a lot of settings you can change the picture size uh, from 16 megapixel to 6 megapixel up to 6 megapixel and 2.4 megapixel and also you can change the ISO, you can say change the video size to VGA and you can also record an Ultra HD 4K video you have a lot of effects here and also we, we, we can change the recording mode to slow motion, fast motion, smooth motion you can turn on and turn off the flash if you want you can also set the timer, HDR and a bunch of stuff, Samsung have improved the camera very and I personally like the interface very much because it's easy to operate even though if you haven't used any Galaxy phone it will, it will be easy for you to understand this camera interface here we have the front facing camera if you insert the micro SD uh, card it will appear here all your photos will be saved to the micro SD card which is very great and also we have different kind of modes, beauty, beauty face, shots and mode, panorama, virtual tour, dual camera and of course you can download more and more uh, modes here from the Samsung app store which works pretty great and also other thing in the Galaxy S5 the best thing is the, water, uh, is the waterproofness so I already explained it to you that I will be personally uh, testing out the water and other kind of stuff on this phone and also Let's check out the S Health app. The new S Health app comes with the uh, with this heart sensor, which works pretty great, and it's actually is uh, working without any kind of problem. That if, at first we do get some problems on phones that are released, but there is no problem with this device. So all you need to do is you need to place your finger here, and it's gonna it's gonna measure your heartbeat and then it will gonna show show with the value here so let's do it do it here 
okay let's do it to put your finger here as you can see the red light you're gonna continue holding uh, like this as you can see 103 uh, so it was gonna show you your blood pressure so um, it's a very great app and other than that we do have other options in the SL tab we have the pedometer exercise food and weight other kind of stuff and it, which works pretty great and also the device has a 2 gigabyte of RAM not 2 gigabyte of RAM like we get on the Xperia Z2 and definitely 2 gigabyte of RAM is enough for daily use and at the same time you know using apps and game and gaming and other kind of stuff so the multitask button shows us two buttons here we have the RAM cleaning button and we have the app closing button pressing here will close all the other apps that are currently open so the touch is comes with the same kind of uh, you know look and same kind of apps that we get on the 4.3 gel bean and we have the same internet app and other kind of stuff that works actually very great on the galaxy s5 so yes it's a very great device and also i will be comparing it with the nexus 5 and other kind of other devices like Note 3 and the iPhone 5S. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you if, if I miss anything, and if, if you have any questions, you can just comment down below uh, regarding to this octa core variant because mostly most people will get the Galaxy S5 um, quad core variant. So if you have any questions and other kind of stuff, if you want to watch some specific videos, you can just comment down below, and I will make that video for you guys. And yes, like this video, enjoy it, and subscribe to my channel channel and for future videos and to see the unboxing and other kind of stuff just check out the description and I will see you in my next video peace out